Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm heading down to Holcomb and it seems like I've got myself in a little bit of a situation. So here's the thing. Some of you may know I started this venture about a year ago. And we picked up a ground handling wing, picked up a motor, which we whipped the harness off of and then started cutting. We started basically from not knowing how to get a wing out of a bag to being able to kite the wing, run with it, reverse launch, turn round, etc, etc. Now, we started our official training January 5th and January 6th were our first two lessons, which brought us back up to the level we were before um, the winter set in. So, basically, the predicament I'm now in is that I'm still fixing the motor, which you can see the videos for up here, um, but the next stage is the, is taxiing. So, essentially, I can't really progress with my training. I can hire out my teacher's motor, but to be honest, surely it's better to learn on what you're going to be flying with rather than a bit of kit that's maybe slightly different or totally different. And that leaves me with a situation where I'm ready to fly, or at least start taxiing, but I've got no motor to do that. So I'm gonna to have to really crack into fixing the motor, and then hopefully we'll be flying. Spring seems like a quite an optimistic time to start flying. The weather will be better, it'll be a bit warmer, so maybe it's not a bad thing that I'm being held back in the winter months. I'm really eager to fly, and that's been emphasized by my new purchase. Yep, I've bought a new wing. You might be able to see it in the back there, I'm going to tell you more about that when we get down to Hulk. No way over like this, now I have to lock up my car now. <sighs> Broke my lock in the freezing weather. Let's go. It was at this moment that Daniel knew. He fucked up. I literally couldn't be any more angry. An hour to get down here, paid full price for a ticket which is six quid. Looked like an absolute climbing out my boot. I get everything on my back, being a camera bag, a wing, a bag of tricks, food, helmet, etc. But no harness. I can't, I just can't believe it. At least someone's got a full car parking ticket they can use. So I guess I've wasted today's good weather that I've been waiting for three weeks for. Hope you're having better luck than I am. Right then, I'm now home. I've calmed down a little bit. The wind outside's okay. So I think I'm gonna go and try and kite that new wing out of the park just so I can see what it's like before I send it off to either the loft or Aerofix. Um, but first of all, I'm gonna have a cup of tea with the finest tea around, just to settle me down. See you out on the field. So the wing I've got is the Ozone Roadster, and it's the Roadster 1. It's got an EN rating of C, and I'll imagine that some of you will be in the comments, oh, it's too high a level for you. But go easy on me, I know it's a C. Um, I'm gonna have some flights before I actually fly on this one on a different wing, which is an ENB rating wing, a beginner wing. So this is for when I start progressing. Um, yeah, just go easy on me. It's been a, been a tough day so far, but let's get this unpacked. Hopefully be able to kite it. That seems like enough wind. Hopefully the trees won't give us any issues. So the guy I picked this wing up from, I uh, went all the way to Nottingham, which is about three hours for me. Um, not too far of a distance, and we got it out and had a look. Um, basically, bought it back in 2013, and hasn't really flown it that much. It's got about 10 to 15 hours on it, and it really does show when you get it out. As you can see from these colours, they're just literally, they look brand new. They look absolutely brand new. And because I'm a small guy, I need a small wing. And no offence to anyone, there's not a lot of them about. So, lucky enough to find this guy who was selling this. And it looks like it's been well looked after. So fingers crossed, there's not a massive hole in the middle of this when I unwrap it. <laughs> but I did give it a good thorough check out before 
before handing over the cash. And I'll be sending this off to either Aerofix or the loft to get it fully checked before I do actually fly it. I'm being pretty sensible about this sort of stuff. I've got full training going on. So really it's just ground handling, ground handling, ground handling, which I've done about a year of now. Oh, look at that, nice and crispy still. And this will be the first proper kite of this wing. So we'll get a full gauge of what it's actually like. Probably be a lot easier to pull up than the, uh, than the old APCO thrust that we're used to. Can't imagine I'll get much of a go with this today, considering the field that we're at. But realistically, let's just have a play with a new toy. Man, that is tiny. So this is a 20, 20 and a half meter wing, I think. 20 and a half meter wing, which uh, has a weight range of around 75 to, to 105, and I weigh 65 kg, which is not a lot, not a lot. So if we get a bit of wind, let's just bring this up and see how it looks. There might be some snags and tangles just to untie after that, but we'll get a, we'll get an idea of it first, shall we? A little bit. Yeah, the wind here is just absolutely terrible. There's really not enough to, to cut anything properly. But instantly. This just comes up so much nicer than the old thrust. Oh, it's amazing how much different, difference a new wing really does make. Oh, there we go. Oh, she's up, she's up, she's up. That's not bad, that's not bad at all. The wind really is throwing itself around out here. It's not, this field is just surrounded by trees and you just don't get any nice air, but for the sake of this, just get it out, having a look, see what we've got. Try not to drag it across the ground too much because it'll get muddy. Oh, that is a tiny little wing. That's a tiny little wing. Keep on moving back, give it, give it some room to move. That fly is lovely. Even that side going down, even that side collapsing there, maybe it's just that it's an old wing that I'm building walls I'm just terrible at. But this seems, I mean, even with that down, oh, it's got a nice bit of pull. Yeah, let's start. Maybe it is, maybe it literally is just the fact that the old wing is just so terrible. Let's just bring this up now, because we've got, we've got a decent bit of wind. I'll proper lean back. Oh, yeah. It's got a pull on it, it's got a pull. Right, right, keep going, keep going. You, no, we don't want to. We don't want to do that. Oh man, I've just seen. Oh, just seen the most disgusting thing on the floor down here. What is that? Oh, it's sand. It's sand. It's sand. It's sand. It's all right. Okay, maybe I can get working right out here today. Right, come on, Danny, come. A bit of ease just to catch it. Oh, lovely, 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 lovely. Perfect wall. I think I'm going to clip in. This is the first time out here that we've actually been out of kite anything properly. All right. And I'm amazed because the trees around here, maybe it's because it's winter, there's no leaves on the trees, less of an obstacle. Right, harness on, leg straps first. Turn your chest strap. That's all I've really got to worry about at the minute. Until we start getting the motor involved, these leg strap things are going to have to be tucked in at some point. So no doubt we have an issue with the uh, motor running. Just A's and D's again while I'm here now. I'm just, now I've got a harness on ready. Look at that, yeah, building the wall, no problem. Right, that's it then, it's just the thrust that's been causing me an issue. Drag that straight up. Oh, that's that's beautiful. That's a beauty. Oh, catch it. Oh, here we go. It's 
too much wind. The problem with this park is the wind just, just changes instantly. It just changes instantly. All right, so first attempt on the new wing. Not great. However, I can build a wall now. <laughs> honestly, honestly believe that it's uh, these trees are just there. So yeah, the ozone, the ozone roads, it's a, uh, it's a country ring, which which is what I'll be wanting to do a bit more of. It literally just wants to fly. That rise is crossed as well. Let's just bring this down. Let the waves catch it. It's a cross country wing, so that's probably what I'll be doing a lot of. You know, I want to go and explore in some places. Maybe at a later date, I'll want to, I want to do some macro. But uh, for the most part, it's more exploring stuff. Um, I'm a photographer by trade, so I want to be getting some nice shots of some landscapes and stuff like that, and doing little bits and pieces. But predominantly, enjoying flight, traveling around, seeing a few different places. So really, this wing's hopefully going to be perfect for me for a long time. I know it's an older wing now, but it hasn't got a lot of hours on it, so realistically, it should last me a long time before I need to upgrade or replace it. It hasn't got tip steering, which probably would be nice. Oh, it just sits there. It just sits there. It just loves it. Oh, just break. Oh. It's going this way, I think we're moving backwards. way now. We keep moving back, we keep up. There we go, that's it. I'm going too sideways there. So you keep moving back. Speed is life. Right, break, break, break. I'm really pleased with this. Like I'm just wants to go again though. It isn't set on fast trimmers, which it probably should be today because it is quite quite a pace in the wind and I think it's just about made up for how angry I was driving back from Holcomb. It is a lovely beach there. It's nice and loud now. I could have got some really good practice in today but I'm glad I'm able to do something still here. And really it gave me a chance to finish Anthony Vella's new podcast that he's been he's been creating. So he's done about five episodes so far. It's truly brilliant. He's just jumped into the paramotor scene and he's been, he's been nailing it. He really has been, he's just been killing it. So if you guys haven't listened to any of his podcasts or seen any of his videos, go and check Anthony out. He's a cool guy. Don't listen to his opinions on reserves though. And this thing is so much lighter than, than the thrust. Given though it is six meters less worth of material, I just can't wait to fly. Just need to get that motor done. So I'm interested, what was your first wing? First wing you flew on and the first wing you purchased. I've heard some really good stuff about the Dudek Universals. I have some really good stuff about them. Apparently the trim range is, is nuts. It's uh, slow enough to be safe on. But uh, good enough to just good enough to keep up and it's quite quick as well. There we go, quick get that tiny little bugger. Do not go into that tree. Whew. Breaks off. Break to pulley, break to pulley. Go back a little bit, grab the middle A's. Make sure you're in wind, which you should be if you've built a wall, which is not here because of the trees and the rotor. A's in one hand, throttle in the other, which I don't have because I haven't got a motor. <laughs> and then 
just take a step back and lean back. This thing just literally comes up. There we go. Look. Whoa. Oh, a bit too hard, a bit too hard. Ah, kill that. We're definitely not into wind here. Like the wind's coming from my left. Look, there we go. All right, wall training done. Ground handling in absolutely terrible conditions. Not there yet. Step. I'm gonna lean back, put the weight down there. Oh, it's perfect. She's not lovely. She's not lovely. Oh, oh, are we going this way, are we? A bit of weight. Ooh. Okay, there's no wind. We just go on. Because we're at the tree line. Wicked. All right, brakes back on. Gather up. Go back. Right, now that I've rambled enough about how much I love my new wing, let's just think about what what I've got left to, uh, to complete before I'm actually able to start flying. So, I've got the motor to fix. The motor's got to be fixed. Now on that, I've got to paint the engine, which involves taking the cylinder off, um, cleaning it up because it's covered in oil and dust and sawdust and crap, um, paint it, and then I've got new pistons uh, I've got well not a new piston I've got new I've got new piston rings a new needle bearing gudgeon pin I've then got to work out the electric start although I can start it by pull starting I guess so that's not a necessity I think that's pretty much it with a motor I might have to tune the carb maybe but if I keep it the same sentence as it was before it should be all right and then we have the frame to deal with now the frame's been fixed in like three places I think at the moment so we'll have to strengthen them up the netting is no good that's absolutely shot uh, maybe give that a lick of a paint and a clean up as well and then that's the motor done oh the throttle as well I've got to sort out the kill switch on that yeah that's that must be the motor done this helmet needs a comms unit put in and some ear defenders which I've got the ear defenders I've got to buy a comms unit now I'm currently deciding whether to go for a cheaper unit or to go with the Cena and just suck it up. I then got sort of a microphone situation for this Sony action cam. But luckily the Sony's have a jack input straight in so maybe it'll just be a dual mic running through one to the Cena or whatever audio comm system I go for and one to that as well. That seems like the easiest thing to do. The only problem I've got there is that if I ever do a dual vlog with someone, say Paranoob for example, then it might be an issue getting both of our audios into the video. Maybe I'll we'll have to look into that a bit further. And then I've got to pass my VHBA exam. I believe it's like 100 questions. 100 questions, an hour and a half test um, about weather and, and flying and uh, all that good stuff. And then I'll be certified with them guys, so that's, that's good. Um, and then yes, yeah, adventures from there on out. And then I'll be focusing on spot landing, landing out, etc. Cross country flights, and just really honing in those skills as well. But here we go, we've got a little Michael light coming over. He's probably from North Rep, so I'd say. Or maybe shipped an airfield. I think they fly from there as well. So uh, he's having a nice flight today. I'm stuck on the ground because I've got no motor. About right, isn't it? Pretty cool though. One day, one day I'll be up there. I'm gonna fly around with it. Come on up, switch around. Catch a surge. It's going left, I can feel that. It's coming down, it's coming down. Yo, we are on a bit of a wind tunnel here. We've been blocked by several trees. But I guess for the most part, that's where I'm at with my training. We'll be at Wingland again soon. Or maybe Holcomb if I remember the harness. So I guess that's it from me today, guys. That's where I'm at with training. Thanks for coming along for the ride. It's been a pleasure as always. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it and you want to see more, subscribe. 
and uh, I'll see you up in the air. Till next time.